Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well. I'm well. Thanks for asking. It's tea time. It is tea time. I can tell you that much. Uh, very much looking forward to some tea. I'm reading the news. You can, yeah, you, you're going to believe this. I'm not going to say you're not going to believe this anymore because that's that's getting old now. I think we've seen too much. We've, we've been, we're too experienced for all of that kind of malarkey now. There's just no way I can, I can say to you, you're not going to believe this anymore after... How many episodes? 500? 600? 600. Almost 700 now episodes of Famous Fortunes. I can't say to you, you're not going to believe this because, well, I mean, where have you been if you're, if you're not believing what we're talking about? So let that be known. Uh, we are going to talk today about a curious article. And that article probably needs some cards too. Right, just focus on straight into the tea, but uh, need some cards. All right, cards, cards it is. Uh, we need to talk about do you remember these cards? Remember these guys? Before we get into the tea. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get to the readings. We'll get to the readings. Remember this? Remember these cards? Remember this Albino weight? Look at that. Jeez, look at this. Remember this? The first uh, deck. It was my first tarot deck as well. I don't know if I said that. I probably mentioned that somewhere on the line. Some of these cards are so, so worn. The backs are sort of not smooth anymore. <laughs> They're like rough. And, uh, that's how it should be though. Let it be known. Let it be known. The first... You can even see the colors are starting to fade a little bit. I like that. I like the antique sort of deck look. The box is well and truly gone, unfortunately. That's why I have the little, you know, baggy here. Bag it up. The box is well and truly gone. It is well and truly past its, uh, you know, its lifetime. The box, that was gone a long time ago now. So let that be known. Let that be known. Now, so we have the cards. We have a teacup have some dragons and uh we're gonna have some tea the interesting uh comments on the color of the tea i i saw a carnelian which i liked i like that response carnelian is a very nice crystal agates uh garnet i saw garnet amber as well i think some from the comments had a look so amber i think amber's a good amber's a good sort of description for it i think in terms of carnelian it is i understand there is orange there but it's darker, more brown. So I don't know. It just. I, but you know what? It's probably the lighting. It's probably the lighting as well, which which is probably making it a little bit difficult because it's depends on the lighting. If there was more light, it probably would be cut, full carnelian. Uh, but in any event, all right, we're talking about crystals already. The crystals are sort of calling us, aren't they? The crystals are calling us, folks. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. So let that be known. Uh, we are going to look today at the topic. Harry wants accountability from William. You hear this? Listen to this. Listen to this. This is just so... I oh know, typical. I think that's the only word I can... <clears throat> the only word I can come up with. This is so typical. I'm going to read the article now. And this is just so typical of, of the situation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle refused to contact William and Kate about meeting during their recent visit. A close friend has revealed. We'll find out who the friend is in a second. The Sussexes are waiting. Listen to this. The Sussexes are waiting for Prince William, heir to the throne of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. The heir to the throne, the future king of England and the Commonwealth. He is... The Sussexes, the humble Sussexes are waiting for the future king to admit he failed to support his brother. I'm going to put in there in brackets, this is my commentary, emotionally, failed to support emotionally, I, I get question mark, to support his brother when he needed him most before reaching out. According to journalist, journalist, do you want to guess the journalist's name? Omid Scobie, Scooby, Scobe, Scobie, Omid Scobie, journalist, Omid Scobie. I think Omid Scobie has a title now as well. It's not Duchess or Dutch or Lady or Lord or whatever. It's a, uh, it's um, journalist now. He's a journalist, folks. He's a journalist. <laughs> Pull a surprise material over here. All right, so fair enough. He's a journalist. All right, good on him. Uh, good on him. The yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. No, no worries. We'll let we'll let that we'll let that lie. All right. All good. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna steer clear from that. I'm I'm not gonna take the bait 
and and get into making light of that situation. I, it's so tempting. See, I'm like being pulled. It's like the ring of power. Like, oh, I don't want to go. Oh, I just want to grab hold of that and make a joke or two. You know, like I just want to get in there. I just want to get in there and, you know, have a good laugh. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, well, journalist it is. Journalist it is. So, so they're staying, the foursome, the foursome, they're a foursome now, are staying less than one kilometers apart during Harry and Meghan's whistle-stop European tour, but are said to have no plans together. Wow, this is, this is, what, can I say? what can I say? The true story is the true story is they never reached out to the Cambridges, and this is Scoby here, Scoby, the journalist, the journalist, the journalist. Okay, the journalist. I wonder if okay, if, if, if Prince Prince, I use the word Prince. I'm not sure why. If Prince Scoby, we'll call okay, Prince Scoby. I don't know why I almost said. If Prince Scoby, the journalist, is a journalist, then. Wouldn't it be ethical to disclose any conflicts of interest? It's just a question, folks. It's just a question, okay? I'm going to have some tea with you now. Cheers to you. Conflicts of interest. Let's find out. Does Omid Scobie have any conflicts of interest? I wasn't even going to ask this question, but, you know, now he's a journalist. All right, now he's a journalist. Can I, hey, guys, can I ask the audience, can I be a journalist as well? I know, yeah, tarot cards, whatever. I know YouTube. I mean, it's not, it's not that sort of. It's a new, it's a new, it's a new style of journalism, I guess. Can I be a journalist? Can you guys, can you guys refer to me, please, today, just this once, as journalist, famous fortunes? All right, can I please? I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly feeling a little bit jealous. Okay. Uh, didn't know, I didn't know anyone could sort of just, or maybe it's not anyone. That's the thing. What have I missed? What do I missed? Is a uh, is the question. What have I missed? Uh, there's something I'm missing here. He must be writing or doing something for a publication at the moment. It's not just Twitter, right? I'm, I'm missing something, I think. Fair. To be fair, I must be missing something here. Journalist. All right, journalist it is. So is he? does he have any conflicts of interest that, you know, we should know about? I mean, it's fair and reasonable to ask a question of a journalist. Do they have any conflicts of interest? Cards are hot. Uh, four of Wands, Ten of Cups has come out reversed. Interesting. So, for, uh, Prince of Swords for the Ten of Cups. Okay. Queen of Swords. Oh, Omid. Seven of Swords. Underlying Energy, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the Moon. Throw in the High Priestess as well. Oh, here we go. So, I think, to be fair to the cards, and just, you know, full disclosure for me, I'm just a humble tarot reader, folks. Okay, I'm just a humble tarot reader and tea drinker. So I want it to be known that I'm just going to be fair to the cards here and I'm going to have to ask the question. I think Omid Scobie needs to answer the question of who is the Queen of Swords in your life, Omid? Who is it? Because it looks like you're attacking a family on behalf of the Queen of Swords. That's what it looks like on the cards. You're attacking a family. Here you are attacking the family on behalf of the Queen of Swords. You're attacking their home as well. Uh, something, there's some underhanded dealings between, you know, perhaps, you know, yourself and a Queen of Swords. That's what the tarot is showing. Now, you know, let that be known. I'm just a humble reader. Okay, don't call me a journalist. <laughs> just edit those comments out. No, it's okay if you want to call me a journalist. It's fine. Uh, but in any event, I'm asking the question today. We're going to ask a question. Omid Scobie, are you, do you have conflicts of interest? Conflicts of interest. Do you have them? Because I think you need to answer the question here. This is a, you know, a question we're going to have to put to you today. Who's the Queen of Swords and are you working for her in some way? Yeah, I know there are some people that take tarot very seriously, all right, very seriously, you know, almost to the point of superstition, so let that be known. All right, moving on, let's move on, let's move on, I mean, we can only, we can only ask questions on Famous Fortunes, that's all we can do, really, is ask poignant, cogent questions related to the subject matter, and that's what we're going to do, folks, that's what we do. 
All right, I've talked, I've drunk some tea, we've looked into, I don't know, the journalist, and uh, brrr, Harry wants accountability, accountability from William. William. So, I think we all, I think we all know what's behind this. I think we all know. Um, what do they really want from William? What do they really want? Because are they honestly expecting a... You know, a, a text message, oh, I should have been there for you while you were on the... I mean, what did the... I'm, not, I'm not sure what they want. Did they want William to sit there and hold Harry's hand on the Oprah interview? You know, they could have had three seats, one for, four seats, one for Oprah, one for Meghan, one for Harry, and one next to Harry. Maybe not a seat, though. Maybe like a little stool or... A, you know, like sometimes if you've ever been to like a gathering, right... And they have seats for the adults and then seats for the kids. They put the seats for the kids. They're like the little baby seats. And they've got the, you know, they've got the baby seats, the stools, you know, the whatever. You know, the, they put a mat down for the carpet. You know, whatever they've got. You know, you have so many people there. You don't have a seat for everyone. So you sort of make do for the kids. They have their own area, you know. It's kind of like William. They could have, you know, a big seat for, for, for Megan. You know, like the sort of the throne. And then you've got next to Harry. You've got Harry there, like the sort of, you know consort and then you've got William even lower on a little stool or something you know holding his hand I support you I support you just let it rip bro let it rip I'm not sure what exactly they're asking here for and and furthermore my second question is do they honestly expect that anyone's going to take this article seriously that's that's my that's the real question here let's ask that question to the tarot do they honestly expect that people are going to take this type of stuff seriously like honestly do they in their heart of hearts you know hand like and don't you don't have to say it to me or to you or anyone but you know they're going to bed at night it's just them the lights are out you know it's just them and all that is right hand on the heart i really expect william to you know to do this for me i really do could they do that i wonder interesting but what, we're going to ask the question what they do expect. So we're going to get a sort of fairly, uh, what's the word? We're going to get a fairly a broad answer, perhaps. You know, one that we don't expect, which is good. We're going to be open to different possibilities. And I know many comment in the comments on certain subjects. We start off very open to all possibility and do very neutral. And then we, we tend to go in one direction from the cast. <laughs> I did read that comment. It was a good one. It's kind of true. It is kind of true. But uh, let it be known. Let it be known. So, you see, cards are hot. So, Scoob's writing here. Oh, he has a Yahoo column. Okay, so he's a journalist. Uh, <laughs> so, there's a laughable effort to suggest the Sussexes have been shunned. So, someone familiar with the current family dynamics tells me. All right, so we're going to ask the question. Who's, shun who's shunning who? King of Swords. The full, the four of coins. This is what they're expecting. The emperor, the four of coins, the eight of cups. What are they expecting here from this? Well, okay, interesting. We've got emperor. We're talking about kings and thrones today. Well, here we are, the throne, the king himself, and the king of swords. They want something from Prince Charles. They want something from Prince Charles. They don't, oh, what's this? They don't want to give much here. They don't want to give much. They're being a bit self-centered. And they're sort of doing things uh, in an immature way with the fool. Or another way of saying it would be they don't really know what they're doing. But they do want something from Charles. That involves money. Abundance, you know. Abundance. All the things that we know Meghan Markle is not into, right? Because Harry's lucky to have married Meghan. Right? Remember that, folks. Never remember. It's, it's Cinderella reversed. The prince is lucky to marry Cinderella because the prince is going to give up all of his money and status to be on her level. Is that is that how the story goes these days? I need to read the story. Interesting how the you know the archetypes are changing. The ground shifting beneath our feet, folks. But uh, okay, so it's look, there's not a, there's there's some rhyme and reason to this, but I have to say there's also a lot of just they don't really know with the fool. It's sort of yeah, what's in eaching terms, the fool is the youthful folly card, which is 
card number? Which hexagram is youthful folly? Is it four? Ooh. That might be. Might be. Hexagram number four it is. Youthful folly. In the I Ching. Same meaning, folks. Same meaning. You know what? I'm gonna I'm going to I'm gonna read this hexagram out for you folks, and you you'll see why. Listen to this. Youthful folly, the fool. Be on guard for careless or rebellious attitudes. Characteristic of inexperience. Just as a youth requires instruction, this is a good time to focus on learning lessons from a patient teacher or from life experience. Is there a circumstance in your life that you have failed to comprehend, perhaps because you didn't appreciate its inherent complexities? Let it be known, folks. Let it be known. I mean, that's the I Ching, the eternal words almost of the I Ching. You're very old now. It's not, you know, someone didn't write this yesterday. Let it be known. Let it be known. We're a bit of I Ching crossover today. That's what happens when I get on the tea, folks. Let it be known. Let it be known. So, who initiated? Because the, the, I guess what's coming called into question here is who's doing the shunning? Who's doing the shunning? That's the question. Uh, we'll, we'll ask that question. I'm going to write that question down. Who's doing the shunning? We're going to throw some cards. We'll do a fork spread. Remember those? We'll have Harry and Meghan on the left. We'll have the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on the right. Let's throw some coin uh, coins. <laughs> this isn't the I Ching. We'll throw some cards and we're going to find out. Who's doing the shunning, folks? Cards are hot. Fork spread, the Empress. First card, Harry and Meghan, the star. Eight of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Five of Cups, Eight of Wands, Three of Coins. Okay, so Underlying Energy, Three of Cups. Who's doing the shunning? Well, what I can see here is there's a woman doing the shunning. Can you see her? There she is. She's a queen, folks. She's a queen. Now, I don't want you to get like let that sort of direct your mind too much until you see the queen of pentacles here. So you're kind of lining up. There's a woman in the middle who's sort of, I guess, the root of the problem because this is the root of the fork or the part of the fork that hasn't yet diverged. So you've got a woman here and then you've got a queen of pentacles here on Harry and Meghan's side. So this Queen of Pentacles is working on something in her own interest. What, what can I say? Uh, I think that's fairly, you know, just explains itself really. So I think we kind of we've got to the we've got to the kind of the issue here. Now, interesting, there's been a few more things. Five of Cups, the Five of Cups speaks of loss, great loss that uh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge feel here. There's a great loss and sadness actually. That uh, over this situation. Now I can only I can only assume that's to do with Harry, but it could you know it, f it very well could be the situation at large. We could even read on it. You know, to be fair, we could read on it uh, if that you know is, grabs the audience's attention. Then we can do that. But I can tell you what. I'll tell you what the eight of wands and the three of coins. It looks like they're trying to work things out in a way. They're taking action to try and work things out here. So who's doing the shunning? Well, I think we have our answer, folks. I think we have our answer. Let it be known. What most saddens the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge? Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave that unanswered. We'll throw we'll throw a, a bonus a bonus round in here today. What most saddens the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge about this situation? And I'm relating this question back to the Five of Cups we just saw.
Cards are hot. High Priestess. The Sun. Strength. Three Major Arcana. King of Cups. Ten of Swords. Underlying Energy, the Chariot. Oh, look at this. The Five of Cups. We'll also throw in the Tower. So the Five of Cups is sort of straddling these two energies here. What's most upsetting is how publicly this is playing out. It's very upsetting. That the relationship is over. That That's upsetting. The relationship is actually over. I mean, that's just... You know, let's call a spade a spade here. I think we all know that, though. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. Uh, the There's an element here of the, the attacks, the attacks on them or on the family and the strength at which those attacks are carrying themselves out are pretty upsetting now. You know, uh, I guess it... How could it not be? How could it not be, I suppose? Ten of Swords and the King of Cups. Interesting. It's almost... I don't know. There's almost... Can you say that this King of Cups is... There's a man here that's, you know, being attacked. Or maybe the relationship with this man is over now. I, I say this man because it's not an obvious Prince Harry card. So, you know, let that be known. But uh, there's some interesting energies here. I'm not 100% sure what we're looking at there. But what I can say is... They're very saddened by this, and it's 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 a great tragedy, I think, of the family, and that's that's a that's a very sad element of how tragic this is, and also the the attacks, the directed attacks, are sort of, you know, because at the end of the day, I don't let's let's be frank, I don't think that um, William and Catherine need to be in the media every day and debating who's shunning who. I don't think they need that, but I would, on the other side of it, maybe they can't do without it, you know, to keep themselves sort of in the mix, because what else do they have to sort of, you know... I don't know, I mean, it's, it's I, I, if you look at it, who needs all this, you know, trouble? <clears throat> who needs it and who doesn't? You've got to think about that. It's an interesting question. Uh, but not for me to answer, though. Not for me. Not for me. Not for my delicate sensibilities, folks. Delicate sensibilities. So, in any event, questions for future episodes in the comments. Uh, all the rest of it. T and Tarot is... How far away is T and Tarot? That's a question we're going to be asking. Can't be far. It is September 10, so we're looking at a TN Tower episode on or about this Saturday. Saturday. It's going to be Saturday, so... Oh, there you go. There you go. Saturday it is. So, questions for TN Tower into the comments. I'll see you in the comment section.